Hello there, welcome to Proper Dubai, where we give you the most accurate, the most comprehensive, and the most down-to-earth reviews on everything Dubai and Abu Dhabi. My name is Stuart Matthews, and today I'm in Dubai to look at this, the JW Marriott Marquis. So before we go any further, I'd just like to clarify this pronunciation of the name of this hotel. They tell me on the front desk, it's J.W. Marriott Marquis, although spelt Marquis. Now Marquis is the French pronunciation of Marquis, which means nobleman. Now in English, we pronounce it Marquis, which is actually in British nobility, higher than an Earl or a Viscount, but below a Duke, but, and obviously higher than a Baron. But I don't need to tell you that, do I? So it's Marquis rather than Marquis, as in Marquis de Sade who was actually a French explicit author in the 1700s, who got up to some really naughty stuff. That's why he spent half his life in prison. But I can't tell you about that because I'm in Dubai, and if I did, I would end up in prison as well. So it's Marquis, which is a bit strange because in English, Marquis is another name for a big tent, the sort of thing you hire and put up in your back garden for your daughter's wedding, which I'm sure wasn't the vision Marriott had for this hotel. Anyway, just some background on this big tent. This hotel is actually owned by Emirates and run by Marriott. It's within the Business Bay area of Dubai and it's right next to Sheikh Zayed Road and this, which is the extension of the Dubai Creek. It's about two and a half kilometres away from Burj Khalifa and Dubai Mall, which is about a 30, 40 minute walk if you're feeling fit. Although it's a lot closer to Business Bay Metro Station on the Red Line, which is just a five or 10 minute walk down the road. So both towers here are 355 metres high with 82 floors, both containing exactly 804 rooms and suites, which means that's a massive total of 1,608 rooms, making this the biggest hotel by room size in Dubai. And actually between 2012 and 2018, it was also the tallest hotel in the world. Recently that's just got beaten by another one down Shakeside Road just a couple of kilometres away. So being a very large five-star hotel, it obviously has the normal meeting and banquet rooms. It's got a large spa and health club, gym, swimming pool, all of that sort of stuff. But I'm also told there's no less than 16 restaurants and 18 shops actually inside the hotel. So I'm really interested to see what this mega hotel looks like. So let's go inside and have a look.
So I've just been looking around the room here and there's a couple of things I really like. The first is this touch sensitive control panel next to the bed, which controls both the AC and all the lights. So for instance, you can turn the bedside lights on and off from here and even the master when you go to bed. It's nothing like a challenge in a hotel room managing to turn off all the lights when you go to bed. The second thing I really like about this hotel room is the bathroom. Absolutely five star, large, well fitted out, luxurious, cannot get better than this. JW Marriott, 10 out of 10. So the other thing I've just noticed about this room is this desk area, which is not only huge, it's just really nicely laid out with the mirror behind. Obviously power points, we've also got HDMI and USB to connect into the TV over there, which is interesting, I haven't seen that before. The other thing I'd quite like is not only very clean and tidy room service, there's another booklet here that also shows you everything that's going on in the hotel, which is really quite nice to read because it's glossy. And rather than the traditional A4 information booklet, we have the same, but in a very glossy and well done information sheet. So everything from checking out telephone and TV is all in here. And when you read through it, it makes you very pleased that you're at the JW Marriott Marquis. <laughs> So I've just paid 380 dirhams for this hotel for the night. That's without breakfast. That's about 80 pound or hundred dollars, which is about the cheapest you'll ever see this hotel. I was just lucky on an off weekend that they were doing a cheap deal. The staff here have been absolutely great. The young lady on the desk that checked me in, checked me in efficiently, quickly, comfortably. She knew far more about the hotel than I did and was obviously keen on her job. While I was looking around, the staff in the spa were very keen to show me the, the rooms. And I must say, not only just luxurious, but actually a massive, massive spa area, separate from men and women, but some of the common areas and the saunas, the steam rooms, some of the areas for relaxation, absolutely huge, just went on and on. So if you are into spas and you can afford it, definitely somewhere to come. One thing that is very evident here, it's a big hotel. So don't be surprised to see dozens, if not hundreds of people checking in or in the foyer when you turn up. It's a 1600 room hotel, so I suppose you need to feed people in by the coach load. One thing they haven't done is scrimp on size. So the common areas are large, the rooms are large, multiple restaurants, the size of the spa, absolutely massive. I've, not, I've never seen anything like it.
So in summary, this has been a great stay. Definitely recommend this hotel. It's very five star. You'd have a great time here. Facilities are massive. Great place to be. If you're going to come into Dubai for a few days, this is a very central area with Dubai Mall just up the road, Sheikh Zayed Road, Metro around the corner. Very, very central place. So I would highly recommend it. Just one last thing about my room. I must say the room worked really well. The bathroom absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna push a boat out here. I think that's probably the best bathroom I've ever had in any hotel around the world. Well done, Marriott. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please check out the other ones on my channel which are reviews on hotels and things to do all around Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And if you're feeling really brave, please subscribe. So from the best big tent in the world, see you next time.